Now, I would like now to pass the floor to Her Excellency Mrs. Phyllis Lepulotsky Kandi, Minister of the East African Affairs, Commerce and Tourism of Kenya. Please, you have the floor. Representative of uh, the Minister of Tourism, Olga Kefalogiani, Minister of Tourism of the Hellenic Republic, the General Secretary in the Ministry, Ambassador here in um, uh, Josephine Gaita, who is here today, <coughs> Mrs. Vicky, all honorable business, the fraternity, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen. With great honor and gratitude, I would like to thank the Minister of Tourism and the entire Hellenic people for the great hospitality that me and my delegation continue to enjoy in this country. I now fully understand why the Greeks attract such large numbers of tourists each year. In fact, we had two very interesting incidences, one of which one member of my delegation lost his money and a Greek person brought back the money to him with no euro lost. And so I'm thinking of a repeat journey, even before I finish my trip here, to come back. Because as the minister said yesterday, it is the people that makes a country great. While we consider the Greek as a partner in the development and custodians of world heritage, that translates into the tourist products that you have. I may take the single honor to just brief you on the heritage of the Kenyan tourism sector. Kenya is equally endowed with unique combination of tourism, tourist attractions, comprising of tropical beaches, abundant wildlife, in a natural habitat, scenic beauty, and the legendary uh, heroes that form the fodder of athletics and culture in our country. And so we are only a trustee to the beauty and the legend and uh, to these gifts of nature that God gave us. And we offer this to mankind to also enjoy and appreciate. In fact, the northern part of Kenya is well known for the origin of humankind. There is a place between Kenya and Ethiopia where the origins of humankind has been found. And we intend to actually ensure that we safeguard that heritage for all humankind to come and appreciate. The Greeks are equally and specially welcome to exploit that part of the country. Currently, Kenya is emerging as a preferred center for meetings, conventions, and exhibitions in Africa. International organizations, as you well know, that the United Nations has its offices in Nairobi. They enjoy this destination for their conferences, their meetings, and conventions. We have a number of multinational companies that have set up base in Kenya. 
and they prefer flying down there for their annual general meetings, as the Kenyan coast offers the best holiday package. And so the Greeks could enjoy and sample these experiences too and watch their business profits soar up as they come and enjoy their holiday and also trade and invest. There are several areas of investment opportunities in the tourism sector and the hospitality sector in particular. As you may well know, Kenya has 47 county governments and some of them are represented here. Nairobi County, which is the biggest city um, or a capital city, is represented here. And each county boasts of one or more tourist products they can also offer. Although the technical team in my delegation will actually go through the details and there is a presentation after this, which I would like all of you to watch. May I only mention just a few in general. Kenya, in terms of investment, is looking for partners in the niche tourism products, such as the development of high-end um, uh, um, lodges, conference and convention centers, Hotels, cruise tourism is one particular area that we're looking at Greece for support. Marina and other water sport facilities that we can offer at the Kenyan coast and also along the biggest freshwater lake, Lake Victoria. Kenya is very well known for, its, for, the, for, for her athletes, and I'm very, very happy that tomorrow I'm going to watch Kenya win one, two, three, <laughs> if not more. <laughs> and cheers to Kenya. I highly appreciate your tourism. You've been able to attract 19 million tourists. Kenya, we are doing 1.98 million tourists, and we could do better because we have such a unique product to offer. And so we have so much to learn from, from uh, Greece. We look forward to having a protocol signed between the two countries and see how we could learn from each other and also benefit from each other. We've identified various areas of co cooperation, including tourism training institutions working together to develop quality products and human capital so that we can meet the demands of the 21st century in as far as tourism. Investors also in this area can partner with our tourism funding agency to develop bankable projects that can be implemented in the hotel and hospitality industry across the country. In conclusion, I take the leave to appreciate the import of this meeting as a special opportunity for our two countries to seriously engage in exchange of tourism activities in areas of visitations, collaborations, training, investments, and tour operation business sharing. I would also like to wish the delegates the result-oriented meetings with their Greek counterparts in order to generate meaningful outcome for these visits. And with those few words, I thank you and I wish you good deliberations today. Thank you.